I'm now for Ask the Expert on Earth Day, April 22nd. We all try to do our part to help the environment, but did you know going green can help you save green? Reducing your environmental footprint can put cash in your pockets. So we have local financial professional Brad Allen with WealthWisconsin.com. He's here to talk about what you can do to help the world and your wallet, and he's brought some interesting props here with him. So We're going to learn right. all about it. Yeah. So how do we do this and save cash at the same time? Yeah, so a lot of people are, are really interested in, in saving the environment. They're also interested in saving money. So we tied the two together today. We're going to look at the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay. 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 So number one is reduce. Um, I have a, a surge protector uh, here, and, and basically, what people don't realize is they're paying 10% of their electric bill to what they call phantom energy. Sure. Phantom energy is, is when you have all these different things plugged in, like appliances or technology, and you're not using it, but it's running all the time. And you're talking 10 to $30 per month that's mm -hmm. going towards that phantom energy. So a lot of people want to plug everything that they can, but if you use something like this, a surge protector, you can plug six different things in, and then it's as simple as turning it on. Yeah. I try to remember to unplug the coffee maker, but... <laughs> The, the other one that we look at uh, for, for reducing is something like an iPad. You okay. know, a lot of people are trying to reduce paper nowadays, going from a newspaper to news online or... Um, you can you know, get your receipts emailed receipts, to you. Receipts, uh -huh. bills, you can pay all your bills, you can get your financial statements, retirement statements, so just less clutter in the house, less paper, good for the environment. Yep, that helps things. Uh, so I'm still waiting to see what the gas can, That's gas right. oil can there. Yeah. yeah. I suppose if I don't cut my grass, I could save some money, right? The gas can. So <laughs> I, I, we're talking about carpooling here. It's a little oh, bit different. Is that okay? So carpooling <laughs> is going to be yeah. uh, huge in saving money. You know, instead of driving five days a week to work or to mm -hmm. school or whatever it is, maybe driving two or three, it's going to save on gas. It's going to save on uh, tire rotations and oil changes, all that kind of stuff. Though. Ride your bike to work. Or that. Yeah. Even better. That's good not good for the hair, Charles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or wearing um, a suit. Yeah, there are a lot of things that people can reuse, too, right. that's reusing. on the list. Reusing is huge. So I have a, a reusable coffee mug here. A lot of stores or places like uh, Starbucks, if you bring those in, they give you a discount on your coffee. A lot of uh, stores like Target or Whole Foods, if you bring reusable bags, they will give you a discount on your groceries. So those kind of things are, are small right up, up front, but add up over time. So definitely think about that. Yeah, especially when you start looking at some of these things uh, and then add them up. I mean, right. if you're saving 10% here, 15% there, I mean, your electric bill, if you can save 10% on that, huge. that yeah, starts to add up. Bill, and let's talk about water bill. So oh, water yeah. bill, Haven't even gotten uh, I couldn't water fit bill. The, the rain barrel in the trunk this morning, <laughs> okay. but I brought a sprinkler in. But 30% yeah. uh, of what you're paying on your water bill each year is going to the outdoors. So your lawn, your garden, all that kind of stuff. So if you have a, a rain barrel and you're using rainwater to do all that kind of stuff, it's going to save a lot of money over time. So. And then there is just the basic recycling, everything recycling, in the house. Yeah, the, the cans, the bottles, right. that's, that's the easy one. But kind of think out, outside the box, you know, recycle old clothes, recycle old toys for people who can use them. Uh, cell phones, if you bring your old cell phone in when you get a new one, uh, they'll recycle that, you'll get a discount on that. And then there's something called upcycling. Yeah, what is that? Upcycling is taking something old and making it new. For ah. instance. So I used to take old pa uh, pallet boxes mm -hmm. and, and make something new out of it. And, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with that. On our website, wealthwisconsin.com, we have a list of some upcycling that you can do. So you're a fan of American Pickers? Have you ever seen that show? I like that show. Okay, so you can do a lot of upcycling oh, with some of that stuff, Are right? Are you on Pinterest? Yeah. Uh, my, my wife is, yeah. <laughs> These are all good tips, good to know, and so we appreciate you coming in sure. and giving us that advice. Thank if you, you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have the number right there. It is 414-967-5253.